The Buffalo EVX is a new car added as part of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. Let's take a look. For the price of 2.1 million, the EVX is a hybrid muscle car, or at least I assume it's hybrid because whenever you enter the thing the engine is audibly heard, but when you drive it around it seems rather quiet. That's not the only oddity I've seen with this car, as customising it reveals a schoolboy error when it comes to the modelling department. If we take a look at the front hood options, there is the clean hood option. Now up front the hood seems to look normal, but if you look at it from the side you can see what appears to be vents or something. Well actually this is a modelling error. If we take a close look at the hood in Rockstar Editor, we can clearly see that something isn't quite right here, and I think it's a case of someone incorrectly programming the customization model for this car, as it's showing the intended hood, as it should, but it's also showing the underside of the Buffalo Hood model, and because the Buffalo Hood model protrudes out a bit compared to the clean hood, you can actually see it when you look from the side. Now as a 3D modeler myself with many years of experience, let me just say <laughs> how did you screw this up oh my god first we've got a bloody plane with an unfunctioning compass which by itself is a crime punishable by keyboard slap to the face from a fellow rockstar games office worker and now we have this blunder what the hell we are sorry for the intrusion but the master was rambling on for much too fucking long for it to be included in the video without being punished by the youtube algorithm with people skipping over it because you know YouTube viewers are mindless zombies who crave constant viewing pleasure. Allow me to skip to the part where he carries on with the video. Anyways, the rest of the car passes my thorough inspection of the vehicle model and looks decently good when fully customised. I'm not really a fan of the overall look of the car to be honest, with the front headlights acting as a sort of weird front spoiler, but it's passable. Side note, this car is compatible with Imani Tech, granting access to all of the Imani Tech upgrades that you come to expect. Three rocket protection, slick mines, remote control and anti-lock-on, the usual. Anyways, because this is a muscle car, I need to grab another car of the same class. Let's see here, the clique was good wasn't it? I'm pretty sure my memory will serve me well. Anyways, let's see what the difference is in my highly accurate bruffy disapproved airport test. <laughs> So it's looking pretty good so far, the EVX holds its own in a drag test, but how good is it on actual roads? Well I gotta say I don't really like the handling to be honest, for an electric car the acceleration does leave me wanting more, and its wide and long body along with its ok handling makes it more difficult than other cars to do critical manoeuvres in my opinion. It is very easy and effective to handbrake slide though, which is a driving style that I use a lot, so it does earn my approval, at least in that regard. Compared to the likes of the clique which is easy to control, has a smaller body and seems overall much more stable while driving around, though its speed and acceleration in comparison to the EVX doesn't make it really worth it in a race. Anyways that's the EVX, I hope you enjoyed this short video and if you did make sure to leave a like, subscribe and join the discord channel for more crazy stuff happening behind the scenes. See you around dudes.